Hello! My name is Emma Hansen and I am the costume mistress here at Bella Magnificat and I'm just gonna take you on a little mini tour of some of the many varied jobs that um, my job includes. <music> sometimes include one ballet, two ballets, three ballets at a time. So right now I'm currently working on um, the School of the Arts recital that's coming up in May. They're performing Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And then we're also getting ready, believe it or not, for Christmas. And if you saw um, in some of the recent videos, um, we are going to be doing a Christmas Carol um, based off the story by Charles Dickens. Um, there's lots of things to make for that. So we're just barely getting started on those things. And um, I hope that you have fun as you come along with me. This is one of the first costumes that we've made so far for Christmas Carol. Um, this is the dress that the character we're calling Slava um, is going to wear. She's playing the character of Tiny Tim in the story, but we have a girl as the character. Um, so her name is Slava, and this is her dress. It's really sweet. I kind of combined several patterns for this dress. Mostly the dress was one pattern, then I picked a different sleeve pattern that I wanted. Um, and then I just added on to the bottom however I wanted to and actually if you can see the bottom is all chopped up and shredded because um, on stage you need to um, you know be even more dramatic um, to convey a point and a thought so this family doesn't have a lot of money um, and they wouldn't have had the resources to get her a new dress so um, they've just added on to the bottom over time and it's worn out and it looks like they need to add on again. There's some of this cute flowery fabric on the bottom um, and I'm gonna go back in and sew some of the pieces back on in a shredded way so that you still see some of that fabric. You don't see much of it anymore. I cut a little too much off so I'm gonna go back in and add some of it back on. got some little pieces pinned in place and now I'm gonna take the sirs and have fun chopping up the bottom. Okie dokie! Does it look a little more tattered than the last time you saw it? <laughs> I added on all the little strips at the bottom. I think it really helped. Yeah, increase the tattered look. Okay, so now I'm gonna go make some tea, not to drink, but to put some stains on this. So I'll probably put a little bit along the bottom and also some up on the top. A large part of my job um, consists of organizational things. So I spend a lot of time making lists um, for myself and for other people um, so that we can get everything done that we need to. There's a lot of things to coordinate, a lot of details to think about. And if you don't have 2,500 lists, then <laughs> things are very disorganized. And even with lists, it is hard to keep track of the details. So for Christmas Carol and for Alice in Wonderland, I have a lot of lists. I spend a lot of time um, at my computer thinking through things um, and making lists. So um, this little list right here, for example, is something I'm working on with Yuri, and it's just a list of all the um, scenes in Christmas Carol, and the people who are in each one, and how many costumes we need for each scene. So that's important for me because, like, for example, um, in the caroling scene, we have villagers from all these different companies and I need to make sure we have enough. 
here's another one on my list and this one is just numbers of how many costumes we need um, for each group so similar to the other list trainee one um, what costumes they'll need, trainee two, events, company, company, me, mag, MIB, school of the arts, and then all the individual characters. So there's a lot of things um, to keep track of and a lot of things are going to need to get made from scratch. <laughs> um, we're going to try to um, use some of the things we already have just because there's only a few months until um, the show and it, it's going to be a lot of work to get everything done. But um, we will reuse, we will make, and it's going to be really good. Make plans to come see it already. Here's another um, costume from Christmas Carol that we've just started to work on, so you get to see it in its beginning stages. Um, this is the uh, vest that Slava's daddy's going to wear. His name is Bob Cratchit. And um, it's just the pieces. The edges are getting searched um, right now, and then the vest will start to get assembled soon. Here they are, lying on the table. Um, so the pattern pieces are here. The fabric has been cut out, and this brown will be the lining, and then this green color will be the outside. So he'll he'll wear this vest with some pants and a scarf and a and a coat, um, and. There's a few pieces here that Claire has started to serge around the edges of. Um, so that just helps um, the edges not to fray. It helps them to last longer, especially when we're taking costumes in and out for different people. It, they get a lot of wear and tear and while dancing. So serging around the edges just helps reinforce um, everything. So we do that to all the pieces before we ever start sewing anything together. This little piece of a costume right here belongs to the third member of the Cratchit family. That is Mrs. Cratchit, Slava's mommy. Um, so this is going to be a dress in the end. It's going to have long sleeves <laughs> and probably some buttons down the front maybe. She'll wear an apron with this dress. Um, it's going to be fairly simple because um, they're a poor family. And the skirt is hanging right here on this chair. <laughs> so, oops, everything's in pieces right now. Yeah, here's the sleeves. <laughs> um, as you can see, all the edges are surged. And we picked this fabric not because we necessarily loved what it looked like up close, but because of how it looks when it's far away, which is something really to consider um, when you're thinking about the stage and stage lights. That is really hard to think about. I don't even know if I'm very good at it. Um, but thinking about a costume from far away and under lights is really um, an important aspect of picking out fabric and doing the design when you're first making it. Whew. Well, that's it. <laughs> Back home now after another long day at work and I've just been sitting here thinking about how what I do or what you do um, doesn't gain its significance from the thing that we're doing, but from the one we're doing it for. Paul reminds us in Corinthians, I was just thinking how um, he tells us to whatever we do, whether in word or deed, to do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And that goes for um, me and my job, everybody else at Belly Move got in their jobs, and you and your job. Um, so be encouraged that um, the Lord is looking at your heart and, and sees um, where you are and what you're doing and if you're doing it for Him. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my day and to show all your appreciation, like this video, subscribe to the Bella Magnificat YouTube channel and get on our website and see if there might be a performance um, coming to a town near you soon. <laughs> we hope to see you there. <laughs> Bye!